I, I just want to mention that um, as, as far as Malaysia is concerned, if you want to continue to a high standard of living, in fact for the last 30 years, it's because we are able to integrate with the world economy and what's into globalization. I, I, think, I think undoubtedly uh, this is an area. Uh, while we are having that, there are tremendous changes in globalization, technology, social media, and space for debate. Uh, I think Malaysia, uh, at least certain portion of the community, uh, feel insecure and uncomfortable of what's going on and globalization that's coming in. And I, I don't think that we have a choice. Uh, we can't shut ourselves up. Uh, in fact, we have a good platform already with our, uh, our internationalization uh, to, to be able to uh, cope with that. But unfortunately, instead of coping with it, we tend to build fortresses, you know, little fortresses uh, 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 in our mindset and, and not able to deal with it. And, and we believe that our culture will be threatened, this and that will be threatened. But I think that we must realize that we have to move to development and we have to deal with issue of materialism, we have to do with issue of greed and so forth. Now coming to capitalism, in my view, that the capitalism that is now practiced in what we call in America and in Europe, I believe to a certain degree they have failed. Uh, because why? Because I think 208 actually comes from unbridled greed and from that sort of capitalism. But the countries that have not failed are the Scandinavian countries like Sweden, uh, Norway, Denmark, Finland. Those countries are not affected by the crisis. And the reason for that is because that they have absolutely clean and very highly accountable government there. And, and they have good institutions, and then also they have a tremendous uh, democratic space to engage with the public, with the public. So I, I believe that we, we have good lessons uh, to learn from these countries, and, 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 and took some, think some of the best uh, uh, practices uh, from there. And for democracy, finally, my final comment, is I know the politicians sometimes may not like what I say, but I think that we think that we I think that many of the politicians uh, may not be able to articulate issues as much. I, I, th I think you see the name callings and all that. You can understand that some of that are quite really childish, actually. You know. So the issue of being able to articulate issues, uh, laws, and all that, uh, still needs uh, uh, still, still still needs to move up to a higher level uh, in in the area of uh, the, the parliamentary system. Yeah. Thank you.